Hey, it's John of Chicago South SEO Services, and today we are going to install WordPress. Now, the site that we're going to be installing WordPress on is a demo site that I have called smallbizdemo.com, and the hosting service that hosts that domain name is bluehost.com. Um, you can install WordPress manually. I don't recommend that these days. Or we can use what's called Simple Scripts. And I'll talk a little bit more about Simple Scripts after we log in. So why don't we go ahead and log into our hosting site. We'll click on the control panel. And we don't have to type in the domain name because it's already there. But we do have to type in the password. And I'll do that right now. And I'll click log in. As I mentioned earlier, we could install manually, but we're not going to do that. We're going to utilize simple scripts. Now, you might um, use a different hosting company, but if your hosting company uses cPanel and it has simple script, it will pretty much work the same way. And your cPanel, which is this right here, will pretty much look the same as well. Now I'm hiding many of the sections and the only section that I'm showing is the simple scripts installation section. Now you might be wondering what is simple scripts? Well simple script is a one-click installation and upgrade utility for several programs. Most of those programs are web applications. Probably one of the most popular web applications that uses simple scripts is WordPress. Now you might also be wondering how can Simple Scripts help me? Well, a few years ago, creating your website meant spending countless hours wrestling with technical issues. Simple Scripts handles all the technical work for you so you can spend more of your valuable time just kind of creating your content and working on the design of your, web of your website. Um, what can Simple Scripts do for you? Well, first and foremost, Simple Scripts will automatically transfer and set up all of the files that are associated with the application WordPress and we're going to go ahead and do that right now so we're going to click on simple scripts and we're kind of on the clock here okay now we have been taken to the what looks like the Bluehost simple script installs page or what's called my installs and one of the first things we see is that there are five available upgrades and what this is basically saying is that of the WordPress installs that we currently have all five are available to have the version of WordPress upgraded if I'm correct the most current version that is available for bluehost.com is 3.4.1 I believe we're not gonna we're not gonna do those upgrades today and all this section is if I can take a step back for a second is what's called my installs and it's just a listing of my or your currently installed scripts and below that is what's called the script list and the script list is currently installs and applications that you can use simple script or simple scripts to install now there are quite a few applications here and it can become a bit confusing what you can do particularly if you're new to cPanel and you're new to uh, Bluehost.com is you can filter. We're going to filter most popular and that's going to remove uh, all but the most popular script installation uh, files and the one that we're mostly concerned with. Now you didn't have to do that but it makes it a lot easier to find WordPress and under the blog section is the simple script for WordPress. Now when we click this it's going to take us to the next page and let's do that. And that's going to take us to the install WordPress screen. These are all of the current installations that we have and if we wanted to upgrade those we could. If we wanted to make changes to them even if we wanted to uninstall them we could we're not going to touch these because these aren't the ones we're concerned with we're concerned with the website called smallbizdemo.com and what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the install wordpress section and we're going to select install we'll just left click that that's going to expand 
this page or the screen and what it's going to do is it's going to give us uh, options as we work through four steps and the first step is for the installation preferences and what it's asking us is which version of WordPress would we like to install now we have the ability to install older versions of WordPress or even newer beta versions versions that are not completely tested or may not be as stable but what we're going to do is we're going to leave this setting at 3.4.1 which is the stable version of WordPress or maybe the most stable version that Bluehost is offering at this time so there's no need to change that and now it's also asking the question where would you like WordPress to install now there are a couple of things that we can do here we have a couple of options we can install this at www.smallbizdemo.com which is the what's called the root directory or if we want to put the WordPress install in a subfolder and we could let's say we wanted to call that subfolder WordPress dash install we could do that and what what would happen is simple scripts would install WordPress and it would install it in that subdirectory but we don't want to do that in this case we just want to install it to the root directory so we'll get rid of that and we'll come down here to step two advanced options and this is just the section that will allow us to change things like the password or have WordPress we'll go ahead and click click here to display if we chose to give this website a a new website name we could do that such as my blog or or what we would call um, small biz demo we'll go ahead and do that let's go ahead and click on that and let's go ahead and call it small biz we'll, we'll small biz demo so we've given the website a name we'll come back and we'll capitalize that D and if we we have the option at this point to change the user ID or username I would recommend that you keep it at admin at this point and we have the option to put in our own password if we didn't want to use our own password we could click on this box right here and a random administrator password would be generated what we're going to do is we'll have WordPress and we'll have simple scripts generate a random administrator username and password we're gonna leave this box checked automatically create a new database because basically what WordPress does WordPress uses what's called themes which are websites or web designs that are shells but on below those shells are simply MySQL databases now that's a that's a that's a video for another day to talk about how the structure of WordPress works we just want to get WordPress installed so we can use it now if you're interested in really knowing and understanding the structure of WordPress then I would suggest you look at some of my videos or look at some of the articles that are on chicagosouthseo.com now the third step it's giving us the ability to install certain plugins on um, there it looks like there's an e-commerce plugin that you can you can automatically have WordPress install and it also looks like there is a small biz theme by expand the web now the small biz theme is simply a website shell that you can have uh, installed and the small biz theme is a WordPress theme and you may not be familiar with WordPress themes and if that's the case I would also at this time suggest that you spend some time on my website chicagosouthseo.com and it's a it's small business a WordPress theme that is specially designed for small businesses a fantastic theme I know that because my website chicagosouthseo.com is constructed using the small business theme and it looks like there is a also an option to install the WYSI app plugin we're not going to change any of these things at this point we're not going to use them but we're not going to change them either so we'll go ahead and leave that as the, uh, the way it's set now the fourth step is regarding legal information and it's just asking you to accept the terms that are set aside on the GPL version 2 license agreement and that's just a an agreement for uh, open source software which is what WordPress is WordPress is a free software to the general public and we'll go ahead and accept that 
and the next step is to click complete. Now when we click complete, WordPress will take the necessary steps to install itself. Uh, what it will also do is it will send you an email letting you know what the username is and the password. So let's go ahead and click complete. Okay, and as you can see, our installation is complete. There is the URL that WordPress has been installed on. And here is the login page or the login URL to the admin page. And incidentally, the admin page is where you would go to log in to get to what's called the dashboard, which we will talk about at a later time or in a later video. What you will also see at this time is the username, which is admin, which is normally the default username, and the password that has been generated. Now keep in mind what you will also get is a email with this information in it. And believe it or not, you are done. That is all to it when you use simple scripts to install WordPress. Our next step is to click on this tab that says back to the cPanel. We'll go ahead and click that. That has taken us back to the cPanel and our next step is to log out. In the next video we will show you more of how to use WordPress.